Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back. <coughs> um, and in today's video, we have some talking about Logan Paul. So, as you guys do know, Logan Paul, if you did, you know, did his, you know, basically, you guys don't know who Logan Paul is. He's a big YouTuber who. Him, he, he's a big YouTuber who lives in, like, Hollywood somewhere, somewhere up in L.A., in a big $6 million mansion, and he's also got a brother who also has big fame and also lives in another mansion. The two of them are basically, like, internet billionaires, um, but they're not famous for Bitcoin, they're famous from YouTube, and, well, Jake Paul was off, actually got his fame from Disney Channel. <laughs> Alright, so basically, long story short... Logan Paul went into, you know, I mean, we, uh, we're not going to really get into details because I don't really want to, you know, do that kind of crap. But basically, if you guys did not know what he did, um, do a little, you won't need to go that far into the internet to figure out what he did. And so, um, also, if you guys are wondering, guys, why I'm playing Beam and Drive while recording this video, it's because it's like, I don't I don't know what else to do. I'm not going to really show my face or anything because you guys know I don't do that. So I just said to play a little Beam and Drive. So, anyways, yeah, so my thoughts on Logan Paul are... I mean, really, bro, I mean, if you guys think about it, though, he is not the first one to screw up his fame on YouTube when he gets big. Like, take PewDiePie, for instance. He made a minor screw up saying some things he should not have said about Jewish people and kind of screwed up, but then, but the reason why he, now, if you guys are there wondering why, you know, he didn't get in a more, in, in as much of a boatload of trouble as number one, First of all, they couldn't have removed PewDiePie off of YouTube because YouTube would have gone under a firestorm because, I mean, I mean, there's one thing if you're going to delete somebody's channel if they got, like, 15 million subscribers. It's not that many subscribers, but, well, yes, there's a lot of subscribers, but if you're going to be comparing guys that subscriber count to, Pewdie to PewDiePie, who's got at currently 60 million subscribers, PewDiePie, if you're watching this, you are an absolute savage. Like, I literally do not know how the truffle F word you actually got. 60 million subscribers like jesus christ bro you 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 a savage um but no in all seriousness guys um my my all my all over my all of our thoughts on logan paul are you know he's trying to you know do you know he's trying to come back to youtube you know he wants to come back to being the guy who sounds all cheerful and everything you know making daily vlog and stuff and <sighs> Personally, in my opinion, guys, I did not see the video that got him under this. In a, I did not see the, I did not see the, um, the suicide forest video. I never saw the video that got him his hate because it was taken down before I ever saw it. Um, I did see his first apology, and according to somebody, according to one of KSI, if you don't know, or no, according to comedy, one of the fans of Comedy Shorts Gamer, if you listen to Logan Paul's apology the one that is currently up on youtube with like a hundred million views or something like that if you look up it if you go to his channel and watch his apology that is up on his channel the back like the end of his apology has the same are um some of the words out of his apology at the end of it are from a movie i'm not really sure remember what movie it was but long story short let's get into this. so my all of our thoughts on logan paul is um now do I hate him? That's probably going to be your first question. Do I actually hate Logan Paul? Well, the problem is, though, I never really saw the video, so I can't really, you know, I don't really, I mean, you know, and I'm, and I'm thinking, though, guys, we live in 2017, and I know suicide and <coughs> all this terrorism and stuff is a big deal, and, you know, it really shouldn't be happening, which is why you really, you know, you shouldn't, you know, I mean, for one, I mean, I can't blame him, though, for his reaction to what happened when he was in the suicide forest, though, because for me, I've never seen a dead person before. I've seen, like, my, like I have pets. Like, I've had pets in the past that have died, but, like, I've never seen a dead person before. So I can't say that my reaction in a suicide forest would have been any different because, to be to be honest, guys, if I saw a dead person in the woods, I probably would have done... I mean, I can't say I would have done the same thing, but I'm gonna say, guys, that if I were to, if I were to see some dead person in the woods, I probably wouldn't, I, I wouldn't know what the hell to do because, I mean, it's not every day you just go walking into the forest and can't see somebody who's dead. But my, I mean, you know, you know, guys. Honestly, my opinion, my overall thoughts are: is if I do forgive him, if you guys are there, gonna be asking me if I do forgive him. Yeah, I mean, I kind of do forgive him because you gotta give him, you gotta give him credit though. I mean, 
he made he made from what I heard he made one apology that was absolute according to people it was absolute bull and you know it wasn't really an actual apology and then he made another apology that it quotes from a movie in it um and then but his second apology is you know it you know I you know he's you know he's got a point though if you watch his current suicide prevention video um you sh um he uh, what was I gonna say damn it I forgot um, but if you watch his current suicide video, <laughs> he's basically talking to somebody, and that person's like, hey, have you ever seen, you know, he's talking to some, like, some therapist or some, per somebody, and the person's like, asking him if he's ever seen a dead body before, or a dead person before, and he's like, yeah, and, you know, he's like, well, I didn't know, you know, he's sa basically saying that he doesn't know how to react if, you know, you were ever see a dead person in the woods, so my overall thoughts are, is, you know, I gotta, you know, you gotta, you gotta, you know, I mean, he's, I I forgive him, you know? I mean think put it think about it this way, guys. Picture, you know, you're off in the woods with some friends, you know, with a bunch of friends, you know, you're I don't know, YouTubing or something, and say you come across a dead body in the woods. What an honest what are you honestly gonna do if you see a dead body in the woods? That's what you gotta think about. Is what are you gonna do? What would your honor like let me know, guys, in the comment section, what would your honest reaction... What would you, what would you honestly do if you saw a, a dead person in the woods? Like, what would your honest reaction be? Because, in my opinion... I, mean, I have never seen a dead person... I have seen, like... As weird as this sounds, I was on a Boy Scout trip once, and I did... We found an un... We, we found a used condom on the ground. That's basically the weirdest thing I've ever found in the woods. Besides, like... But, like, I've... In a hoodie, and, like, I've seen... I found, like junk in the woods like, i've never found a person in the woods before um you know i mean you know i mean there's gonna be a time and point where people gotta crack and gotta gotta forgive them guys i will say this go though guys if you guys out there have the time go go to go to um logan paul's channel and go watch his latest video for suicide prevention and i hope you know Maybe you guys might find it interesting or something. You guys give me give me your thoughts seeing if you really think that he deserves to, you know, be back in the spotlight or whatever. Um, yeah, so, I mean, I guess that's really it for now, guys. I know I really didn't want to address Logan Paul, but, you know, I kind of had to. So, you know, I mean, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, you know. Don't forget to, I mean, I'm not going to ask for any likes because this was actually a serious topic even though I'm, you know, I'm I this I was trying to actually make this guy's a serious a serious thing. Like my mom told me about some guy who jumped off of the Golden Gate Bridge and survived. I do there is actually there was actually when if you watch Logan Paul's the newest video, he does talk with somebody who did jump off the Golden Gate Bridge at the last moment parade or something like that, and I believe I think it would be the same person. But so until next time guys, I hope you guys enjoyed also guys give me also, guys, can you guys let me know in the comment section how serious did I honestly make this sound like? Did I actually make this conversation actually sound serious? Let me know in the comment section because, as you know, guys, I'm a gamer, you know, I'm not really serious half of the time, but t tell me honestly in the comment section, did I actually make this, you know, topic actually sound serious? Also, guys, don't forget, guys, please, guys out there, if any of you guys are there, please don't commit suicide because suicide's a bad thing, guys, seriously, like... If you guys have a choice, please don't commit suicide. Um, even though, guys, I might get flyed for copyright, I'm going to take... I think Logan Paul's starting up this new hashtag, um, so I'm going to put that in the video title. And um, if I don't get flagged for copyright and don't get kicked off of YouTube by tomorrow, uh, well, yeah. So, uh, yeah, if you guys are there, um, don't forget to... Um, yeah. Don't commit suicide, keep living your happy life, and I hope I see you guys in another video. Um, and seriously, rate me down in the comment section. How serious do you think I actually was in this video? And I'll catch you in the next one. This is LPG. This is Let's Play Some Gamer Fan, over and out. And I will catch you in the next one. Peace.